happy Valentine's Day! Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Today's video is a vape vlog. Welcome back guys, sorry I've been missing for a few days, I had a crazy awesome weekend. So I have a vape vlog here for you today, we're going to do the usual eel good of the week, shout outs and questions, I'm going to show you some vlog footage of my day to day life, I'm going to try an e-liquid out like one single flavor, and of course announce the winner for the third giveaway prize bundle for my 75,000 subscribers celebration, as well as announce the fourth giveaway prize bundle and how you can win it, so stay tuned for all of that. Clouds, bitch. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to do my e-liquid of the week, but I want to know how your guys' Valentine's Day is going, if you have a significant other, or if maybe your pet is your Valentine's Day buddy for today. So anyway, my e-liquid of the week this time is going to You Got E-Juice's strawberry cheesecake flavor, and I believe You Got E-Juice was my e-liquid of the week one time in January when I first reviewed their flavors. So freaking good. This is the yummiest strawberry cheesecake flavor I've ever had. I, I feel like I'm confident in saying that because I want to buy it again. Like as soon as this is gone, I want to buy it again and I want to buy more. And I've had a lot of strawberry cheesecake flavors but never actually bought them again for a second time. So I'm, I'm safe to say that I think this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite, strawberry cheesecake. Time to go over to my iPad and check out some of the questions and or shout outs for you guys for this week. Of course, I am on my knee box with Bonsai Vapors Pound It in here. I just, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. and I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram then you would have seen like the massive amounts of bottles that I got of Pound It and I believe three of them are already empty. I don't know but I have 120 milliliter bottles so and I haven't even cracked that open yet. Oh no for some reason this shout out isn't showing me a username. That is so weird. So if you recognize this comment, then you'll know it's you, but this shout out reads, Tia, I've been smoke free for one month, was a smoker for 15 years. Thank you so much. Because of you and your videos, I have been smoke free. And the comment cuts up, cuts off. So hopefully that was the end of your comment. And hopefully you are watching this and know that this is your shout out. Um, this was January 13th. So that was one month, so you're two months now. That is amazing. Congratulations to you, whoever you may be, because, like, look, there is no username attached to that comment. So weird. All right. Ramsey's Rasuna. <laughs> so bad at these names, it says, have you always had background music in your videos, lol. Yes, I have always had background music in my videos and I get a lot of complaints as well as a lot of people like asking, hey, what's that song? I like it. And I personally, when I watch YouTube videos, I like YouTube videos with background music and when I first like joined YouTube, that's what I saw other YouTubers that I aspired to be like doing and so I put those in my videos, I put background music in my videos because I like that and I will never not have it because I love background music. It just, it makes the video better. There's more of an ambiance during silent portions, like if I'm vaping or looking through something. So I just, I use, or like speeding something up, I, I like to use background music and it's funny because I don't actually put background music in my vape vlogs only because they're usually so long that it takes a hell of a long time to add in the music and I am slowly but surely learning a new editing program as well that should hopefully make all of that a lot easier. But yes, I have always had background music, I believe so. Maybe not in like my very first first videos because I didn't know how when I first started, but I pretty much have done it for every single video for the last, you know, three years. So that's that. Let's see. Miss Lizzie Tapu. <laughs> That's an interesting name. It says, you talked about your long e-juice queue. How large is it on average at the moment? Um, my review queue, which I do, I usually, I try to do a device e-liquid, a device e-liquid, a device e-liquid like that, uh, back and forth, because that's just the, I like to do that variety on my channel. And 
my review queue is always booked out about five to six months and every company that asks for a review knows that I tell every company I'm like hey yeah I have no problem checking out your product or reviewing your e-liquid but there is a super long wait so if you don't mind the wait I'll get to it eventually and even though that's a super long wait I feel like it's more beneficial anyway to the company because six months from now I'm going to have a lot more subscribers than I do right now so their products gonna reach an even larger audience so it's kind of like yeah you have to wait a long time but the outcome is better if your product is good like if I really like your e-liquid or you know really like the device like the knee box like imagine if I reviewed the knee box right now versus four months ago so many more people are going to see how much I absolutely love this device well I mean you all see how much I love it because I use it all the time Speaking of, mm. so that I hope that answers your question. Jasmine Gray says, Hi Tia, I love your videos. You're so sweet. Those lashes are amaze balls. What kind are they? If you don't mind me asking, have a wonderful day. Well, I'm actually not wearing my falsies today. I usually do. I love false lashes because my lashes kind of suck. But I use the Eye Allure. It, I get it from Target. Target. And I use the 107 brand because they like are short on the inside and they flare out. Yeah, Eye Allure. It's like I-E-Y-E-L-U-R-E. That's the brand that I use. And I think it has like a little British flag on it too. If I'm remembering correctly. I just bought two new packages of it too. Jeez, a lot of questions. Let's let's do some shout outs, guys. I wanna give some shout outs. Do, do, do. Oh, well this is another question. 225RC says, Tia, if you could only use one tank and one box mod for life, what would they be? You rock. Well, thank you. And... <laughs> That's not a really hard question to answer. It would be my knee box because it's a tank and a device all in one and I absolutely love it. I just love it so much. I actually can't wait. Okay, I know I was saying like, I can't wait for version 2 because of the leaking, but I don't get any more leaking with this. Somebody told me that the newer coils they fixed, it was the coils that the reason the knee boxes were leaking and that the newer coils, they fixed that. So when I bought a new pack of coils for this, I don't have leaking anymore. I can leave it sit standing upright if I want to, but I'm so used to putting it on its side that I usually just leave it like that, but I don't get any leaking from mine at all. And I was thinking about doing another update video for the knee box just to like say that and like everybody know that, but I don't know because my review queue is so crazy that I, and I've never done like a, what would be like four months that I've had this. So I don't know if you guys want to see me do an update for this, I can, because like I said, I still love it. Absolutely. Goodness, where are all my shout outs? Barbara Hendricks says, Hi, I smoked from age 14, now 60, vaping for two years off and on, but you and indoor smokers have helped me this week get a new setup of the Subbox Nano Starter Kit, and it works great. Really happy. Congratulations, Barbara Hendricks. Are you completely smoke free? Let me know if you are down in the comments below, and let me know how long you've been smoke free. That is awesome. Christian Emmons says, Started smoking when I was 14. After almost 30 years, I quit on Halloween of 2015. That way, I would never forget that day. As soon as I got home with my eyes, I just too I was done then went to a cool fire four and your comment cuts off uh, so I can't read it anymore but congratulations Christian I know you from Twitter I see you on Twitter all the time and congratulations on being smoke free since Halloween so October November December January February so you're going on four months smoke-free? That is awesome. Kelsey Tedder says, Hi Tia, love your videos. Started watching them when I quit smoking. I'm about five months smoke-free. I love my Tiffany Blue MVP3 Pro. You're a huge help. Love you, Tia. Oh, congratulations, Kelsey. And woo woo, Tiffany Blue MVP. Mine's like way over there. Otherwise, I'd snatch it up and be like, we match. But I love my Tiffany Blue MVP too. It my th top three favorite devices would be my Kanger Tech Knee Box, my MVP3 in Tiffany Blue, and my Cool Fire 4 with my logo on it. Those are probably my top three favorite devices. Oh, and the Lava Box. I really like the Lava Box, so... Yes, girl. JIP1189 asks, Tia, I want to see what you got from that Noble Collection box. It has to be Harry Potter, my fave. It actually is. Oh my god, that's awesome. I did that uh, like a vape mail and I had that, but I didn't open it because it was 
it wasn't it was for me but it was a present for me so I didn't want to open it and peek but it is it's a Harry Potter time turner necklace oh, I wish I had it to show you it's in my bedroom but it comes in this like little display box and it's a gold necklace and it's the time turner that Hermione wears and I love it I love it so much I like like to look at it more than I like to wear it I like to wear it but like it looks so cute in the display box and it's my favorite so yeah I got it from the Harry Potter shop com and I'm pre-ordering the new Harry Potter oh there is a new Harry Potter book coming out July 31st of this year it's the screen right for the plays because Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is based 19 years after so like when it's about Harry Potter's children and him like as a ministry worker and it's a play a two-part play but it only comes out in London this winter this summer and they're making it into a book and I'm so freaking excited like I cried the day I found out that it was being a book. I am so happy and I'm pre-ordering two copies, one for myself and then one to let people borrow because I know like my friends around me are going to be like, oh my god, I want to read it. And I'm not going to lend out my copy because I want to keep it nice and clean and I don't want any pages ripped, any spills or nothing on it. So I'm pre-ordering two copies and they're only like $30. Dre Holcomb says, Tia, I'm almost six months smoke free. Woo woo. The 24th will be six whole months and I feel so great. I definitely have you in part to thank. Aww. Your videos kept me excited about it in the beginning and gave me... And your comment cuts off, but thank you so much for watching my videos and I'm so proud of you. The 24th, so that's in 10 days, you will be six months. That is amazing. Let me know what you're vaping on. Okay, that is all the questions and shout outs that we are going to do today. Now I would like to take you guys to my vlog footage. What, what is it going to be? I believe this was my vlogging from my doctor, like one of the last doctor's appointments I've had for the chest pain that I've been having since September, which now it is doing so freaking well. Like I barely even get it. I still get it every so often, but I've been going to massage therapy and I've been um, taking different type of medicine and I've been really good about taking it. And I am like looking into acupuncture. I don't know about that though. I don't know how I feel about that. Even though I have piercings on my face and my like ears are gauged, there's something different about like doctor needles or like acupuncture needles that scare the heck out of me. So I don't know if I'm going to do it. So if you've had acupuncture and it worked, like let me know. And if you've had it and it was horrible, I would like to know that too. Because <laughs> I'm really considering it, especially if it would help take away this chest pain that I've been having. And another thing, people have been people on Twitter because I tweet all the time and talk to you guys on Twitter. Followers on Twitter have been asking like, oh, do you think the chest pain is because of vaping any anyway? And I'm absolutely not. Because when I first got it, I stopped vaping for a while and I still had the pain. And then I started vaping a lot more because I love my knee box. I discovered my knee box in November and it had there was no change from me vaping a lot to me vaping a little to me not vaping at all to me vaping Nick to not vaping Nick. Like I've tried it all so I completely ruled out like it's not. I honestly think that my chest pain stems from the anxiety that I have because I have super bad anxiety but um, like I said we're just trying different things. I had a chest x-ray which you guys will not see that part but um, maybe that's in the vlog. I don't know. Let's go to the vlog though. Well, good morning guys. Oh, look at my hair. It is the 20th or the 21st. I'm not sure. It's Wednesday and I have quite a bit of errands to run today. So I figured I would vlog and take you around with me because you guys seem to like that. It's a really nice day. I'm just getting my breakfast ready and then I'm going to go. I've got a couple things to do in town. But look how pretty it is. I don't know if you can really see but it the sun is shining and I am so relieved that there isn't that it's not snowing because I did not want to drive all around the world while it was snowing so I'm gonna finish getting my breakfast for this morning and yeah okay so I got my breakfast and I'm gonna eat my breakfast and mm. <laughs> love these little things and then I have to go to the bank and then I have to go to the post office to mail off some tax stuff, boo, IRS, boo, and mail off a giveaway prize that's actually going to Canada. I wanted to wait till the first Canada prize that some of you may have saw on my Facebook. I wanted to wait till that one actually got to the recipient in Canada before I sent out two packages to Canada because I didn't know if that was, how that was going to go over. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go say hi to my mom and I'm going to go to our local like um we call it the community cupboard, so it's like a thrift store. It's like a Goodwill, but only f like for the little tiny town that I live in. And I'm gonna donate some old stuff 
there just so I have a little bag of that and then I also have a doctor's appointment which is like on a good day it's like 40 minutes 45 minutes away since it was snowing a lot yesterday depending on how the roads are it might take me a little bit longer because I always say like I hate driving in this weather it is terrifying so I'm gonna finish up my breakfast and then do that oh and I have to pay my insurance my health insurance because that's required and it's expensive I pay almost three hundred dollars a month for my health insurance with a three thousand dollar deductible which I am just now getting into the adult life of that so what my hair is just flying away but I just don't even care because I'm just running errands and going to the doctor and I've said it before I'm saying it again I literally don't wear makeup like 85% of the time because I just it's too much work but um you guys want to see what I had for breakfast so excuse the messy table but this is like what I usually have for breakfast not every day but I've got like a fruit I usually do a fruit a protein and like a dairy so like usually I'll have like cheese or yogurt but I love these. I eat these every single morning, these little mandarin oranges. And I got a string cheese today, a piece of peanut butter toast, and hard-boiled egg. And then this huge thing of water. I drink a huge glass of water every morning. This is actually 24 ounces of water. So, yeah, that's, that's my breakfast. So I'm going to get down on this, and then we'll go. And I've been obsessing over my Cool Fire 4 Storm Edition. Cool Fire 4 Plus, excuse me, Storm Edition. So this is what I'm actually going to be taking with me today. I'm not going to be taking my knee box, holy crap. And then this is Chikora by C Cape Fear Juice Company, and that's what's in here. And I just took the little anchor off their glass bottle and put it in here because I love these unicorn bottles. Anyways, I'm going to go so I can eat this stuff, and I'll see you guys on the way out. All right, guys. Woo, it is freaking freezing out, but it is blue skies and sunshine, and I am so happy about that. So we're going to head out and get all these errands done and then hopefully I can come back home do today's video and which will be like I said, you probably won't see this for a couple of weeks Ugh. got a freaking hair in my mouth look at my this hair I'm gonna have to do something with it. I'm just gonna slick it down with some water at my mom's work or something I look like Albert Einstein or something like oh these are my baby hairs, the ones that don't like to go in the ponytail. It's bed head for you. Sick. Alright, let's get out of here. here for a little bit before I head out and do my errands at the post office in the bank and the community cupboard oh he looks so cute mom look at her little kitty hat I love it that's the bank Mm. I'm still waiting for that. Did you see those icicles? Danger. Well, I just got done mailing off a prize to Canada and at the bank it took way too long now i'm gonna go drop off some of that stuff that i wanted to donate just that old stuff from my house that i don't use anymore that is still good and can be used and then on to the doctor which is not not looking forward to it Whew. okay so i made it to the hospital literally such stressful drives i hate it a freaking 
semi like didn't want to stop behind a two truck dump truck thing and cut in front of me so that scared the shit out of me and blinded me because they kicked up so much spray that my window and like oh my god I can't I can't I hate driving I mean I hate driving in this weather it is just something else people like aren't safe like I even if people want to pass me I will go slow if I don't feel comfortable I don't feel the need to rush anywhere and I mean I say that now as I am half an hour early for my appointment my doctor's appointment hopefully they can figure out what is going on with my chest area because I have been having chest issues since September and at first it was costochondriitis which is inflammation of the sternum and that seemed pretty true I mean she just pretty much made an educated guess that there wasn't any tests done or anything um but and so I took medicine and that went away but then I had more chest pain towards like my lung like behind my breasts and then that doc I saw a different doctor for a second opinion and that doctor said it was probably pleurisy which is inflammation of the lungs so I got another prescription and took that prescription and that helped and so now I think all the inflammation is gone like it's not the same pain I'm getting a different pain now I'm getting more of a sharper pain and it's you know again it's behind my breasts and it freaking it hurts so bad and I get it every day it's not constant but it is it's there every day and it's enough to notice and it hurts and it scares me and it bothers me and when I inhale it gets it hurts it's sharper when I inhale and I get it pretty much every single night before I go to bed like when I first lay down I notice it but I notice it throughout the day but especially when I go to lay down so I'm hoping that I just want an x-ray or something I, I don't care how much it costs I'll pay whatever I want some actual tests done because I've gone to the doctors probably eight or more times since September to try to figure this out and get some relief and to no avail and they've all just been like educated guesses on what could be wrong and then pushing prescriptions on me and I hate prescription pills I take one prescription pill that prevents me from having babies that's the only prescription pill that I take and I do not like taking prescription pills I'm all about all natural I'd rather try all natural remedies or something but I just want some tests done I don't know what kind of tests they do but I just want some tests like an x-ray or something I don't want any more educated guesses I don't want any more prescriptions and I'm getting frustrated I'm about to go in the doctors and so the hospital is a gun free zone so I'm gonna leave my pistol in my car and I almost last time I came to the doctors I almost walked in there with my pistol in my purse and then I saw the no guns and drug free zone sign and I was like oh shit so I like ran back to the car and is the post office a gun free zone too because I think the post office is so I just leave my pistol in the car when I go to the post office but I'm not sure if it is or not I really need to find like a list of like buildings you're not supposed to bring your gun into because I know like schools hospitals I know federal buildings so the post office that's federal right I don't know somebody help me out but um anyways yeah so wish me luck I'll get back to you guys after my appointment and I'm not bringing this in because my my doctor isn't against it but my doctor isn't for it that's for sure Well, finished at the doctor. She let me get a chest x-ray just to rule out anything bad, like super bad, because I have been asking for some sort of testing. So, and she like felt around my spine and my scapulas and blah, blah, blah. And she was saying that massage therapy could really help me because it seems like my right side, all my muscles are a lot tighter and my scapula is not like rotating as much. So I'll look into massage therapists where I live and go from there waiting for her call back about the x-ray I really don't think anything super bad is going on but just because I want a peace of mind you know I had the, the x-rays done like I'm willing to pay for that just for the peace of mind so it is back home we go yay I'm so happy I mean today is like already halfway over and I'm ready to be home good morning guys it is January 31st Sunday and I won a thousand dollars from H&R Block. I got my taxes done early there and for anybody who gets their taxes done before February 15th gets automatically entered into this $1,000 a day to 1,000 people 
contest and I've never won anything but I won so I'm gonna get ready and I gotta go down there and take a picture with like a big check or something like that and meet some people and so let's go all right we're here i don't know if you can see it there's h and r block oh it's right there it is right there oh my god i don't know why i'm nervous but i guess there was like four or five winners from this h and r block office so i'm really excited and we're here kind of early because i'm like you know i'm always like half an hour early for any appointment that i have so let's go inside and see what happens next picked up my check and now we're at sumo having sushi so excited Woo woo! All right, so now it is time for me to try out an e-liquid flavor. When companies send me one flavor, I like to spotlight them here in my vape vlogs and tell you guys what I think about them because I don't like to make one video, like a whole video for one e-liquid. It's kind of, it's not impossible, but it, the the video would really literally be like two minutes long, and no, I'm not gonna do that. Like I'm not. I'm, I'd rather just added in as a fun segment here. So that is what we are gonna do. And the e-liquid that we're going to try is Scentsy Berry by That Dank. And I absolutely love the look of this bottle. Check it out, guys. Look at it. Oh, I love it. Now, this was sent to me by the people who make Cape Fear, which is one of my favorite brands. And then they sent me this sticker and Scentsy Berry. It says, we hope you enjoy Scentsy Berry. Happy holidays. See, this I got this like in December. Um, but there is no flavor menu. And they sent me like these little cards. And so we're just going to look on the bottle, see if there's a flavor on the bottle. No, just a warning, ingredients list, prop. Hmm. Shake well, I know too. Ooh. Oh my goodness, wait. This kind of smells like kiwi. Whatever it is, it smells so freaking good. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out on my Troll RDA atop my lava box. Ooh, it's high VG, that's for sure. And I will link below if anyone is interested in trying Scentsy Berry by That Dank or checking out anything that I really talk about. Like, I'll uh, put my e-liquid of the week below. If you want to try out any of the other flavors by That Dank. Oh my god, this smells so good. Oh, what is Oh my god, this is so good. But now that I'm vaping it, I am tasting total strawberry, like a creamy strawberry, like a gooey, almost like um gummy, but it's totally strawberry. I don't know. It smells like kind of like kiwi. I got excited. Yep, that is totally like a strawberry cream. It's like fresh strawberry mixed with gummy, chewy strawberry. Oh my god, I could vape this all day. It would have been nice to have a flavor menu though, to know what it really is, or I could have just looked it up before this video, but I rarely prepare for this <laughs> sort of thing. So I just realized the entire time my heart lights have not been on. That makes me pretty sad because it's Valentine's Day. They are much better, but... It's too late because it's pretty much the end of the video. There's only one more thing to get to, and it may be the thing that all of you have been waiting for, but I'm really sad about the lights. Like, you guys don't even know how upset I am to realize that this entire vlog, my heart lights that I bought specifically to put in the background of my videos for Valentine's Day were off. Oh my god. Alright guys, it is time to announce the winner of the third prize package. And look, I packed it up. I went to the post office and I got boxes for everything and packed everything. I didn't close the other ones because I still have to show you what's in them. But this is number three and you guys saw that in last week's vlog. What all comes in here and it's ready to be written where it's going. We just have to pick a winner and then I'll show you guys prize package number four. But here it is. It is right here. Oh, it's heavy. And let me just say a lot so many people did not enter the giveaway correctly 
it seemed like most people were just looking at the comments and copying what they saw other people saying instead of actually watching the whole video and hearing what's coming out of my mouth and how to enter the giveaway. So, so many people were not qualified for the giveaway because they did not comment correctly and I only picked from comments that were specifically what I told you guys to do. So please, I beg of you to freaking watch the video and don't just comment below what you think you're supposed to do based on what other people are commenting because they could be very wrong and cost you your entry and that is no fun. So, let's go. Somebody who actually did it right. So the winner for the third prize bundle and like I always say, if you are this next person winning or the person in the future or anybody from my giveaway, you have to be 18 or older and you have to be able to provide proof. If you become a winner and you can't provide proof, you will not get the prize. I will not send it out to somebody who has an excuse as to why they can't prove they're 18 if they don't have an ID. Nope, nope, because you can't walk into a vape shop or a liquor store and buy their products without showing your ID. So same goes for my channel. My channel, my rules. Anyways, <laughs> the winner is Cody Plier? Plier? Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm like murdering that last name. But you will have a message from me in your YouTube inbox and we'll discuss how you're gonna show me you're 18 or older. Most people just send a picture of their face holding their ID. That works just fine. So Cody's comment reads, I discovered vaping just by passing a vape shop in my hometown and I just dropped in to see what they had and I was hooked. I started out with a 30 watt Segeli. I was smoking a pack and a half a day, almost two packs. Now that I have progressed in the vape community, I try to explain how much better it is than smoking. I have had so many convert in the past few years. That is amazing. So how long have you been a vapor? How long have you been smoke free? Let me know Cody. Also you are the winner. So congratulations. Woo -woo. I'm going to send you a message as soon as this video goes live. Well, I'm going to give it like a few minutes because obviously if I message you then you don't have to watch and you won't get like the surprise that you're the winner. So I usually wait a little bit to message the winner just because I would hope that they would see it here first because that's fun to hear your name being called. But don't worry if you're not Cody. Plar, plar, plar. It looks like P laughter without the T. Plaffer, plaffer. Oh, is it plaffer? I don't know, but you are the winner. So congratulations and look for a message from me in your inbox. Yay! Time to do giveaway four. I have all of the giveaways in boxes back here. It looks really nice and neat compared to like just piles of stuff on the floor now. So let me grab that box and show you guys what you could win for giveaway four. And uh, number six did not fit in one box. So number the winner of the last one, the grand prize one, is going to get like two boxes because it's so huge. All right, here it is. Oh my gosh. So I guess we're gonna do this. We're gonna go through everything that's in here. All right. The first thing is a Zample Box t-shirt. So we can be matching because I have a Zample Box t-shirt too. And Aromamizer RDTA. It's a no uh, Steam Craves Aromamizer line, but this is a tank version. You're also going to get the Wismic Pressa, the Landmark Tank, the Aspire Atlantis 2, the V Park VMOX 30. So this is the mini box mod, just like my little red one up here. I have some random things like cases and bags and pieces and um, <laughs> chargers and these little hookah pens and a do you even vape bro bracelet another thing what are oh God, a carabiner oh that drop that was like a 510 connection this is a nickel coil for the aromamizer rdta you're getting a tesla nano 100 watt and a cubis tank and a aurora oh no aura mini i always say this wrong you're getting an aura mini kit love it it's like a little RBA base piece. You are getting the Beacon Telescope Mech Mod by Beyond Vape, an eGrip VT, lots of stickers, Whoop, a vape band by Rasta Vapor, a cool fire four plus with the ice of apex tank in red, and a 
Platinum Zample Box. So this has 11 bottles of e-liquid in there. And keep in mind, these sample boxes are kind of catered to my flavor profile. So hopefully we have the same flavor profile. And that is all of the stuff that literally filled up this box completely full. Like there can't fit any more into this box. And that is prize bundle number four. So much stuff. I'm so excited to be like getting these out there and not, and not having to have all this extra vape stuff. And even though I did this huge giveaway, I'm doing this huge giveaway, my giveaway box is quickly filling up again. So I might just have to do a giveaway like at least twice a month at least because I just get so much stuff and I can't have that much stuff in this room because then this room just gets completely filled so <laughs> that is prize bundle number four and you can check my Facebook to see the winners um, the first person second person all have received their prizes and I asked them to post on my Facebook page when they got them so I could share with you guys how much they are loving their prize bundles but anyways that was number four and how to win it is super simple, really similar to how you've done it in the past, but please listen. I hope you're watching and not just copying somebody's comment. So first things first, you have to subscribe to this channel because the winner is only announced here. I don't announce the winner on any other social media. I announce the winner through YouTube. I'll be announcing the winner for number four next vape vlog, which will come next Sunday, hopefully, if you know, if it's not Monday, maybe sometimes it's Saturday, sometimes it's Sunday, sometimes it's Monday, depending on like if my schedule gets crazy, but usually it's every Sunday, so that's where I will announce the winner, so eh, gotta be subscribed, gotta give this video a thumbs up, because who doesn't like giveaways, share this video on any social media, you can share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Vine, can you do that? Can you share it on my <laughs> Google Plus? Anywhere, you can share it anywhere. And now for the entry part, those are like the rules. Like you have to do those, you have to be a subscriber, you have to give it a thumbs up and share it, but this is where your entry comes in. Comment below where you're from and what your favorite mod is, like your favorite setup. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite setup is. So an example comment would be if I was entering, I'd be like, Hi, Tia. My name's Tia, and I'm from Washington State, and my favorite mod combo device, whatever mod atomizer, it can be an all-in-one, would be the knee box. So let me know. You could say, oh, I love my MVP3 and my iSub-G, or my MVP3 and my dot mod, or my you know anything what is the, your favorite setup even if you don't have it like if you don't personally own it you could let me know like if you like really really wanted the lava box and the troll RDA because that's that's what I have so if you like really wanted that but you don't have it you can comment below I just want to know what your absolute favorite is even if you don't have it so yes super simple let's run through it one more time so everybody's really clear and everybody enters right because the the last giveaway was kind of a madhouse like people were not doing it right. Subscribe, thumbs up, share, and comment down below where you're from and what your favorite setup is, like mod and atomizer combo. Super simple. So simple. I can't make this even, I can't make this any more simpler, guys. So, do that. Be entered for the fourth giveaway, and I will announce the winner next Sunday as well as the start for the fifth giveaway because there's gonna be six so the prize this is four and then five and then six you following you guys tracking super easy i mean giveaways are actually pretty hectic for me but i love doing them because it makes me so happy to give back to you guys and like when people win they're just so freaking ecstatic and i just love that feeling and so yes we're doing this for one two three more weeks and then my huge 75,000 subscriber giveaway celebration will be over. Whew. So, that is it for this week's vape vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for next week when I have a whole bunch of new reviews. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get the e-liquid of the week I talked about or to get the e-liquid that I tried, Scentsy Berry, or to get my favorite mods, e-juices, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. I just uploaded a video of making Valentine's Day cookies with my friend Chelsea. You can check that out if you want to see more of me. Also all those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia vapes and thank you so much for watching guys Ooh. 
we're like we're halfway done i'm so excited to have this stuff cleared out of my house it's like spring cleaning in winter 